Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. For almost 50 years, a small theater company in Durham has performed light opera to the delight of audiences from around the state. They're called the Durham Savoyards. Now, what is a Savoyard? Well, that's a good place to begin. Savoyard is a person or group who does strictly Gilbert and Sullivan. The strict terminology is based on the fact that Gilbert and Sullivan had a theater built for them, the Savoy Theater. And so a Savoyard group only does Gilbert and Sullivan. Hello, the Lord, our executioner, a personage of noble rank and title, a dignified and potent officer, and the Durham Savoyards have been performing Gilbert and Sullivan since 1963, when a small group of GNS fans performed The Pirates of Penzance. That show was a hit, and soon the group officially united under the banner of the Durham Savoyards. They've been performing ever since. So why do contemporary audiences still flock to see light opera written over a century ago? It's the wit. The wit of the stories. If you really listen to the wit in each of, of the operettas, there are just some really funny touches in there, and they're just so appealing. <laughs> they're so raunchy compared to a lot of, a lot of opera that, I, that I've seen. It's just very overtly raunchy and funny, and you know, with a little bit of violence in there. They're really entertaining and the challenge of the musical numbers. For instance, Gilbert and Sullivan frequently employed patter singing. The singing is so fast it's like speaking, so it's a patter of, of words coming out. There's the banjo serenader and the others of his race, the piano organist, I've got them on the list, and the people who eat peppermints and puff it in your face, they none of them be missed. I think it is challenging because if you look at the lyrics of the, the, the patter songs especially, they're such rapid fire and they're not quite tongue twisters, but you, they, they're pretty close. And so it is a challenge to learn the music. And, and that's what makes it, that's a big part of the fun for me because I love the singing more than anything else. The Savoyards rehearse at the Durham Arts Council. It's a small space, but they manage. Derek Ivey, a noted actor and director in the Triangle, has helmed several Savoyard productions. One great benefit is we have a new cast, so um, the big thing I do as a director is listen to the cast and keep myself open to what they bring to the experience, how they interpret the script. Certainly the cast and crew of the Durham Savoyards have a lot of fun, but don't let the laughter fool you. Beneath the frivolity lies a lot of hard work. But it pays off with large ticket sales and an even larger reputation. It's an amateur group with professional production standards. I have learned that they have a seriously good reputation in this town, Durham. This year, the Durham Savoyards will be performing Princess Ida March 24th through 27th at the Carolina Theatre in Durham. For ticket information, call the Carolina Theatre box office at 919-560-3030. And to learn more about the Durham Savoyards, go online to durhamsavoyards.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.